pleasant greetings. All right, I'm gonna go over a bunch of stuff I learned about the fixer that I think is gonna be very helpful in helping you discover which fixers are the best and which ones you should be going after. All right, I'm gonna start out with damage with all the unyielding and commando perks, nerd rage, bloody mess, adrenal reaction mutation. Let's take a look, a regular non-explosive fixer would give me an auto rifle base damage of 124 so we'll use that particular number numbers will vary depending on your build and your perk build outs but for the purpose of this particular video let's go with 124 is the base damage of non-explosive that would be low tier All right, next one up is a mutations the mutations putting that on that goes to 136 five percent for mutation maximum five twenty five percent we're looking at a 12 point difference so we're looking at now you're at a 136 with that particular number one prefix with the mutations all right popping on the caps the aristocrats non explosive I don't have the max caps at the moment, but when I did, it went up to 148 as is listed. So an explosive max caps, also known as aristocrats, is potentially going to be the second best weapon out of the fixer. Is only second to the bloodied explosive, which I don't have. Or potentially the two-shot explosive which I don't have so those three are going to be what you're going to go after but if you can't find any of those the bloodied fixer for me does 162 damage this is a non-explosive which is the same as an explosive anything which goes to 163 so as long as you have demolition perk Hitting up any explosive weapon will give you as much as a bloodied non-explosive. The Gourmands is 163. It is explosive, so that's the baseline damage. Let's see. Am I at max food? I'm not sure. Let me take a look at that. All right, having eaten two melons, how does that change up the gourmands? Takes it up to 178. Let's see that again. So this is going to be with a prefix of this or mutations. Gourmands or mutations with the 25% will take this to 178. The aristocrats would add another 12% to that. With the two shot and the bloodied explosive being in the top. So, any of those, hopefully, that explanation helps. Let's get to crafting some fixers. I'll start out with a disclaimer this is over several days because, as you may know, collecting the modules, legendary modules, at the rate they're selling for every day, you can get a max of 10. Those get taken up pretty quickly. Let's start with the first one. So re-rolling is not a bad idea to do, especially if you're running low on supplies, especially springs, because making fixers takes a lot of resources. Bullets explode, damage fills as your hunger and thirst meters are filled with damage resistance. That is going to be one of the better weapons with the new prefixes. So that is definitely going to be a keeper. Rerolling a different one. It went from berserkers to troubleshooters with 50% damage to robots. 25 aiming and less bats. So that's not terrible, but it's in the 124 damage slot, which is the lowest tier. Non explosive. All right. Tight. Don't necessarily like that particular perk. I'm gonna reroll this one, see what happens. 
Executioner's last round in the magazine has a 25% chance to deal damage. Damage resistance. Alright, Executioner is not bad. That would be really good with explosive. You'd be surprised how quickly the bottom 40% vanishes on the enemy with the Executioner's prefix. Of course I don't have one. Still looking for it. As you may, may or may not know by now, the RNG on these things is terrible. Suppressors with bashing. I'll tell you right now, anything I have with bashing, I'm immediately going to script and or reroll, because that is like the worst perk on any weapon you can get. Don't buy those. Vampires with faster fire rate it rolled into with plus one agility. Overall, that's not bad. Vampires is a very good prefix. Explosive, again, would be better. Put us in the 163 slot. But that one's going to be a keeper until I get a better one. Faster fire rate. Those should be decent in some daily ops. Keep you alive in there. And I'm going to reroll that one because I don't necessarily like it. Bullets explode with stalkers. I haven't really played much with stalkers with 100 vats accuracy. I guess that could be good for crit shots. Guarantee those head crits. I don't know. But with the explosive effect, that is going to be a keeper. Another day, another set of fixers to have to be made. RNG has n not been good. Bashing damage on a junkies. As I said before, bashing damage happens. And it's getting out of here. Immediate script and or reroll. Honestly, they should just remove that from the game. I don't know. What do I know? There's probably somebody out there that likes bashing damage. It'd work on a minigun. Look at this. Gourmands replenish action points and faster reload. Gourmands is definitely not bad. It's not explosive, so this will be in the 124 category, the lowest tier of damage. But it would get a 24 to 25% increase with Gourmands. For me, that's 12 points, as we discussed. at 136. Alright. Assassins. Last round and break slower. Hmm. Definitely not a god roll. Not a god roll. I'm just as surprised at these rolls now as I ever am. Mutant slayers with action points and agility. These things definitely, I don't know how to put it nicely, take a while to get what you might be actually looking for, a quad with limb damage and perception. A quad is awesome, limb damage, I'm not too sure, most people prefer that and perception is acceptable, so that could be decent. Changing out this particular garbage for an executioner's with a vet's hit chance and reduced weight. Man, an executioner's explosives would be a very good, very good set of perks, but that is not what I get with the weight reduction. So that one's actually not too bad. Not too great in average category. That needs to be explosive. They sure are stingy with their explosive perks here. Something good, please. Super mutants, faster fire rate and agility. Oh my gosh. Alright, I don't know if we're keeping that. Super mutants. Bashing again on a mutant slayer, so that's going to be an immediate reroll and/or script. 
Break slower. That'd be great if that was explosives. Use that on experience runs through the West Tech. Zealots. Limb damage and faster reload. Alright. I don't think I've gotten the Zealots yet. Not necessarily the greatest perks at all. Another roll. Zealots. That's hits and agility. Well, these perks are slightly better than the previous one, but they're still not that great. Not a god roll weapon by any means whatsoever at all. Alright, this might be the final one of the night. Troubleshooters with bats hit chance and resistance reloading. I don't know. Not a god tier weapon. Might be fun to play around with. Right, that'll do it. Gotta get some more resources. So I can build more fixers and then craft them into legendary with the hopes, the minuscule hope, of actually getting something decent. Right, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day!